Okay, so first thing that we need to figure out how to do is to actually open up what's called Open Proj or Open Project. It's an open source thing. You can download this for free at home, actually, if you'd like. And the way to do it is to go to Start Programs, and then there's a menu for Open Proj, and then you just click Open Proj. So easy stuff. Start Programs, Open Proj. Okay, and when it pops up, you're going to want to create a project because we're starting from scratch, right? So we click on Create Project. And we give it a name. Maybe you say enrichment term. Uh, you know, let's say that I'm in Mr. Lippard's advisory. Okay, and the manager is me, so Mr. Caden is the manager. And the start date. Just so you guys all know, the start date for enrichment term, the first day that you guys will be working, is May 31st. It's a Tuesday. So you can select that as your start date. Okay, so give it a name, make it something legitimate. You're the manager, and the start date is May 31st of 2011. Don't worry about notes and hit OK. So here we are. We're inside Open Project. We've got our brand new thing started. The very first thing I want to do is actually save this document. And I'm going to save it for now. I'm going to save it on my desktop. You can save it in your My Documents if you're sure that they're there. Or you can save it uh, you know, on your desktop and send it to yourself in an email. And you'll notice it's a, it's a .pod file. I don't know what that is, but you're going to save it and make sure you don't lose this because if you put a bunch of work in today, it'll be gone tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just going to save it on the desktop. I like to save things when I start so that I remember to save them frequently throughout the process instead of just uh, losing it halfway through when the computer runs out of batteries. And I'm, I know you've all experienced that before. Okay, so this is open prods. There's a lot of different things going on. We're going to take it slow and simple. On the left side is a place where we're going to put our objectives later. And on the right side here is where the Gantt chart is going to be made by the computer. So we'll see that timing chart that you saw before. All right, the first step that we need to do is we need to set up the calendar so that the computer knows when we're going to be working. And the best way to do that is to go to Tools and change the working calendar. Okay, and inside the working calendar, we're going to use this standard calendar, but we're going to adjust it for each of the days in enrichment term. So we're starting on May 31st, like I said. And on that first day, uh, we're going to be working in for the whole afternoon. So that's after lunch, which is 1235. And we're going to be going to the end of the day, which is 315. Okay, but we don't write 315 because this actually uses that sort of military style of time. So we actually call it 1515. Okay, you're going to be using that number a lot, 1515. So don't forget. All right, good. You hit OK, or you can click on the next day, right? So here's the 31st. We're going from 1235 to 315, which I'm writing as 1515. The next day is a Wednesday, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going from 1235 to 1515. No big deal. And then that's the only time I'm working, so I'm going to delete these other ones. And so the first step, and I know it's a little tedious, is to go through each of the days and make sure that you have all that locked in. Okay, so here's Thursday. I'm going to do the same thing. 12.35 to 15.15. This is boring, Mr. Caden. I know. Okay, it changes a little bit on Fridays, right? Fridays during enrichment term, you work in the morning and the afternoon. And so on Fridays, we're going to start at 10. We're going to go to lunchtime, which is, let's say, 11.40. And then after lunch, you're going to go from 12.35 to 15.15, okay? And so what you're going to do is go through all the different days and lock that in there all the way up till, I'm going to give you a schedule so you can see the different days that you should be locking in for enrichment term. Okay, and you're going to do your whole schedule out like that from start to finish. That's your first step. And when you're done with that, you can, uh, you can move on to the next video.